This is the coolest thing. Johnny Magic here at EMJ Compounds. And today, we want to talk about one of the coolest theme builds that we've... Well, that's actually where we've, what we've been doing here lately is a lot of theme builds. But this company here is a company uh, Detroit-based, actually. Um, and uh, they make all kinds of safety equipment, like this piece that I'm using right now, or I have in my hand, that we use to build this vehicle. It's actually one of the coolest devices I've ever seen. You know, for years we've struggled like in our industry with like uh, welding something and grinding something. So, so you would weld it with one helmet, then you get to go put on glasses or another shield or whatever. Well, they fix that. It's all together, you know. So now you just flip this up, you can grind. You're back to welding, back to grinding. You know, if you need to grind, I don't like to grind. But uh, one of the cooler things about it is throughout the years welding some unique materials like getting into like uh, Oh, crazy uh, chromolys and uh, you know uh, titaniums and stuff like that. He has this fanny pack, and that fanny pack is battery battery powered. It's pumping fresh air straight into the helmet, so you're not getting all those fumes. I mean, especially if you're like welding galvanized or something like that. I mean, you definitely either hold your breath or you have a helmet like this. So awesome technology, beautiful company. I love everything that they've been doing and the products that they make. You know for the industry and the, what they call the safety side of things. So, you know, not only is it the helmet, they have earplugs and all kinds of other stuff. And, and most of their products have always been towards uh, big corporations, you know, like Spirit, Aero, you know, or big, big companies that uh, have, you know, a lot of uh, employees and stuff. So, but the cool thing about it is during this build, I talked to them, I said, hey, I says, us out here, these end users that, you know, are just doing one-offs and low volume or whatever. I said, you know, I think your products are awesome. And they should be into that, in, you know, into that product area as well. So, you know, hopefully they do that. But, you know, that's up to them. But they did allow me to build them this Hummer. This actually was a red uh, 2000 uh, four-door truck. And they gave me, they sent me this helmet first. And they said, hey, make a H1 Hummer look like this helmet so they had this scallop thing and stuff like that i was like oh wow okay and then also uh we wanted to be able to you know use it for displaying our products and stuff so we created our own wagon back this is all handmade with a with a the kind of the ensemble of the top of this helmet on the top side of it we made it so that all of it can put completely open all the way around the vehicle you could take and open up all the compartments and use the, uh, the we made some uh, the custom wood tops or whatever to display their products and stuff like that. But it didn't stop there. I wish it did, but believe me, then they wanted to have um, flares, custom flares that were more square with the body and stuff. There's there's flares out there that are, you know that that look cool and stuff, but they wanted you know something that was a little bit more robust. So. We built these all out of the same type of materials, the, the Hummer 66, 60, 61, T6, some, some six or whatever, aluminum panels, and uh, you know, even into the, uh, what we call the uh, lower skid plates, um, even into the front of the vehicle, we built all this. Then they wanted a, a visor, kind of like an eye visor, or a visor that would enclose the front side of the vehicle, you know, uh, inch and a three-quarter D-ring push bar, front full mount bumper, um, <coughs> and even the steps, the automatic steps, you know, that you would normally see on like a, maybe a Cadillac or Escalade or whatever. So we incorporated all that into the vehicle as well as the interior. The interior was tan. They wanted to go with gray and stuff like that. But uh, so we put all the, you know, basically a full-blown <laughs> rebuilds, what I call it, on top of a Duramax conversion. So believe me, it was like watching paint dry for a lot of times, but uh, you know, the end product after the wrap and everything was on there is unbelievably cool. I mean, this is the ultimate H1 Hummer and a great poster child for RBP. Johnny Magic, H-Line Conversions.